actually enjoy this game. I really do. So I figured, take a little break from Zelda and play it. Not gonna lie, a lot of it's just because AVGN just had a, just released a video kind of making fun of the game a bit. I feel it's a little unfair because <laughs> I actually love this game. I might be one of the only ones. I don't know. It's definitely possible. But I enjoyed it. So just give me a moment. I just want to make sure everything is functional. Twitch and YouTube at the same time, you know. Might as well try getting a few new viewers. Why not? Well, it took like maybe a half hour to figure out how to get it going, so. <laughs> They say cooking with fire, so <laughs> I want to say I want to take a little break from Zelda. I love it, but working on NES games recently just because of review material and stuff like that. I should probably be typing up my review tonight, but eh, I'm gonna play a little bit. It's only gonna take about an hour or so. It's been a while since I played it. I was actually playing it yesterday a little bit. I didn't get very far just because I wanted to get a little bit in and decide to stream it. I think I finished game, this game, I think. I want to say I've been in it before. But yeah, I went to play and just show it's not as bad as a lot of people say it is. I mean, this isn't, I don't know, I feel like this isn't really a game you really hear about a lot. It's not one of the more frequently talked about LJN games. And yes, LJN has a lot of crappy games. Um. I don't think this is one of them. Between, like, if I'm thinking of all the LJN games. Oops. It's not off very well. But yeah, if I'm t thinking about all the LJN games, between this and. Like, I like this, I like Thrill of Safari. I, I think Friday the 13th isn't great, but I still think it's better than everybody gives it credit for. Which is very confusing understand how to play. That I do understand. Nightmare on Elm Street, I've rarely played that. But as for this game, like, it, it definitely takes some getting used to because of the whole... Really not starting off well. Because of the whole, you know, you're on a unicycle, essentially. So you got that momentum based gameplay and it does take some getting used to. I'm bother grabbing that. As you'll probably say see in a later few levels, like losing your head, yeah, that can kinda suck too. Like how you can slide like that, though. <laughs> oh crap! I didn't want to grab that. The yellow one forces you forward, whereas the white one gives you more speed. Oops. Gives you more speed, but you can control it. Whereas this is just an automatic thing. All right, there we go. Let's try not to die. Really, well, start with. Four lives. Jerry lost one. Awesome. It's really not starting off well. Nice thing is, the cones are like your collectible. And you only need 50 of them to get an extra life, so you don't need 100. Oh, 
His heads are basically just a, a lure. Don't grab them, because then you have to redo part of the stage again anyway. Basically, the game shifts between two different characters. One is on the, the wheel, the other one just walks like normal. Same, we can't skip these. But yeah, it's got good music. I wish, just wish there were more than two tracks. I guess there are, technically. And I love this song. I'm not sure if the same developer or yeah, developers did it, but those flies, they kind of look like they come from Tom and Jerry. I always thought that. I'm look into that. It wouldn't surprise me if they were the same company. That's another game I thought about playing today, too. I figured I'd save that for another day. Actually, I actually have a couple games next to my TV that are on my to-do list. I'm sure I still want to do a stream of MC Kids. I think I have Tiny Toons over there. Oh, I've been on like an NES game recently. lazy because they never didn't program the fly to fly backwards. Now they're saying off the surplus fireworks. <laughs> I looked over and didn't see the rat. Oh yeah, that, that's cool. My neighbor is literally saying off fireworks right next to it. Oh my other neighbor's cars. Just asking for a freaking lawsuit. <laughs> That's one of my neighbors that are out there, like, they could be freaking perfect candidates for, like, an episode of Cops. They're just dumbasses. <laughs> I shouldn't talk nasty about people like that, but I, I can't help it, it's just, I find it funny. It's great when they start yelling at each other, and, you know, assuming it's the mother and daughter, they just like, full on yelling. Like, I can hear them clearly through, like, closed doors and stuff. It's like, how are the cops not called more frequently around here? Let's get paranoid in this area. And I always thought the water looked kind of strange in this. Like, I've seen a lot of good waterfalls and water in NES games, but this just, this stuff just looks weird. It's like, what the hell is this? water can hurt you. Yeah, so you do get other weapons too, but I don't typically use them a lot, which I don't know why I do. Obviously, oh, that block there. Okay. There's more of it up here, that's why I wasn't caring so much about using up the ammo. Oh, damn it! Yesterday I was playing that there was a little bit of slowdown, which I don't recall. Game four. 
Funny story, too, is originally when I ordered this game off of Amazon, um, they actually sent me the wrong one. They sent me the SNES game. And I thought, thinking, alright, not a big deal. I'll, I'll hold on to it, you know. This game's freaking awful. Like, everybody craps on this game. They should play the SNES one. I thought that one was crap. I didn't even get past the first stage. And that's why I thought it was crap. But anyway. I'm like, I'll hold on to it. You know, why not? Go to turn it on. It was freaking like Desert Strike or something. Somebody must have been cleaning the game or something and put it in the wrong freaking cartridge. So I returned it and got this game back. takes place in the docks where there, there's just a bunch of, um, crap. There's a bunch of bomb, or birds that are just dropping bombs like crazy. And I actually kind of lose my head on purpose, because that way you're not in mid-jump, and a bomb goes off, you lose your head, and then... Because when you lose your head, you're, um, you don't immediately lose health, which is kind of nice. But what happens is your controls get burst. Which, that to me is not a big deal. I have no problem with that. What I do have a problem with so my controls are, get reversed in the middle of the jump and then I fall in the water because, you know. Getting adjusted just mid jump. That kind of sucks. One thing that a lot of people don't like is the fact that he bounces a little bit after he jumps, but again, it, it's all about getting used to the mechanics of the game. I mean, I think it makes sense. You know? there's a, there's a, it's a wheel. So, yeah, you're, you're going to bounce. Granted, if they're going for realism, then why is an elephant... Like half an elephant? shooting peanuts at you, but hey, whatever.
Yeah, hey, what do I know? Now, the trick with this, when you hit B, it hits the switch, but it also makes me jump. So the key that I've learned over the years is to use that to jump. Here's what takes me a couple of times. Actually, that wasn't so bad. I think the first time I played this game, it took me like a half an hour to get through that part. That's another thing that I kind of careful of in this stage. You lose your head's almost like a free hit, though. It, it's like, hey, uh, you're gonna lose your head, and it's gonna be a little confusing because you lost it, and, you know, controls are reversed, but... It's all good. Should I grab those, but... Oops. Eh, I'll grab them. I think you get more points if you have full health and you grab. Um, the head. Let's see. You can kind of see the, the punching bags. That's actually why I'm playing it, to be honest. Um, I, I don't know. I, I don't think he went far enough into the game to really describe why he hates it so much, which, you know, it's an AVG and a lot of it's all in good fun anyway, but I actually love this game. But yeah, watching that review of it is kind of what made me want to play it again. <laughs> I kind of forgot it was even an LJN game until he reviewed it. I mean, he touched on the good music. He said the graphics were bland. I don't think they're that bad. The whole uh, losing your head mechanic, I kind of like that. But the part in the junkyard that he was getting stuck at, with, like, was like a, almost like a spiked fence, and he was going all over the place. That part is a little difficult. I remember the first time I actually got to that stage, I died a lot. This is the stage I thought. Oh, I'm sorry, those things are weird. I mean, yeah, like, there's areas like this that could... That could have, like, better background graphics and stuff. I will say that, like... The plain purple is kind of weird. Especially for a warehouse stage. Like, usually you think warehouse, you think, like, grays and rounds and stuff, just like boxes and things like that, but purple is not something I usually think of when it comes to a warehouse. I hate these things. I'm not gonna be able to 
get back up here if I do lose some of my health. Oh, that's right, next, the third stage is the warehouse, and fourth is the junkyard. And then, no, fourth is the... I'm trying to remember. There's only five stages in the game. Again, it doesn't help that I can't really remember the names of them all either. I don't think it really matters. It's not a terribly long game. Try avoiding those speed boosts. Seriously? They hit me. The end of the stage is still there. I don't think I've ever really used the the arm. Never found a reason to. I think it's like invulnerability or something, I don't know. I don't say we get past that without dying. Or getting hit, I should say. Now it's ducks. This one you gotta be there we go. You gotta be really careful just because again. Those bombs could really mess you up. That's why I usually purposely lose my head. This is another level where okay, I can kind of see where the AV gym is going now. That's right, if you duck, it won't hurt you. If you're going to grab a head, try to do it so you can jump straight up. That's the key. See, that's what you want to do too. If you stay, if you stay standing with the bombs, they'll hit you. But as long as you're ducking, okay. Most of the times, as long as you're ducking, you're fine. It's like after him, I grab my head. I have to think for a second. It's like, wait, which what, which direction do I push? Worst part of the stage is this, you have to just keep going up and it's very easy. That's what it is. Excuse me, you want the bomb to strike ahead of you. 
Okay, maybe not. Okay, maybe I'm just wrong. I'm just gonna stop talking about how to get past some of these parts. Because apparently I'm not doing very well. So if you duck it, you might have a better chance of avoiding the bombs. But anyway, as I was saying, this game's or this stage graphics, yeah, they're they could be better. Eh, what are you gonna do? Like most of this stuff to me is pretty good. I I wouldn't complain too much about it. This for an LJN game, it's very playable, it's I think it's really fun. Maybe it's just those nostalgia goggles again. Glasses, whatever you want to call it, however it's pronounced. Jumping. Clear the gap. which to me is just one of the few stages where the music actually changes a bit. The thing about this stage is that the enemies come at you very fast. So unless you know they're coming. Very sneaky. This Wrecking Ball reminds me of roller games. That would be a fun one to do. That game is brutal in difficulty. Add that to the list. Interesting thing about this game, too, is if you ram into a wall too fast, you'll actually lose your head. Like, I love that kind of stuff. Probably why I like this game so much. Dang it. Pretty sure you want to clear that jump. Yep. Sometimes I just they seem to put stuff in places that don't make a lot of sense. There's those two heads right now. I don't really need 
dumbness. Fortunately, I have plenty of lives. Yeah, it looks like the, some of the cones respawn too. All the power-ups respawn. I didn't know that. Yeah, is this game perfect? Absolutely not. But again, for an LGN game, I think it's pretty damn good. Like, if you would play it... Like, if somebody would say, here, pop this, pop this game in, try it out, let me know what you think. And after you're done playing it, then you find it's LGN? It's like you probably would be shocked. <laughs> oh yeah, it is only okay. So Car records is not only has one level. Okay, that's fine. This is the part that it could be a nightmare if you don't, if you're not careful, just because those bombs are in such a weird... Yeah, so see the head, I'm actually... I don't want to grab it. That stuff will kill you right away. Yeah, if you hit that, those fences, like, you go skyrocketing like that. Ooh, that was close. I, I just don't like the rockets if I can help it.
Ah, I knew it. I don't know why I stayed over there. Incredible crash things. Completed in what? Roughly 35 minutes, 38 minutes. not just random pass out. What it's cutting off there, it's probably just because of the retron. Not bad score. No continues needed. Yeah, I, I think this is a pretty good game. It's, it's only been 40 minutes. Give me a minute. I'm going to go see what our game I might be able to play for a little bit. So I'm going to mute the mic. I'm just going to keep the game running. So give me one sec. Because I feel like we have time to play some more stuff.
Alright, so, I found another game. We finished- Hey, what's up, guys? I have to laugh. I finished Incredible Crash Dummies <laughs> that's when people are getting on. So, since I finished that, I'm gonna switch to another game. Because it's only been about 40 minutes. So... Yep, definitely in the retro world. Batteries are on my laptop. Oh, I've been in an NES kick recently, which this isn't a bad thing. So I'm gonna go in here and just update the titles. So I got another game that I'm gonna play, just because, again, I've already finished both of them, so. Pause the retro on here. Passing out and dying is not a good thing. I don't know if I want to know why you're running from your life. Now, not a lot of people I think have played this game, because it's a really odd one. Um, I don't know if I'm going to play it all in full. Yeah, unfortunately my NES isn't working. I think the motherboard's shot. It's hooked up in my room, but I, I can't get to work. Besides, I don't have a converter to convert that to HDMI so I can uh, stream from it, so Retro makes things easy. I want to know if there's anybody watching that's actually played this game. <laughs> this is actually one of the NES games I actually used to own. It's an odd one, though. It I'm the only one that I know of out of all my friends that used to own it. It's not a bad game, it's just really strange. But yeah, it's the adventures of Tom Sawyer. Basically, you play as Tom Sawyer and... Basically, he just keeps dreaming of all these areas. I'm not doing well. Wow! <laughs> really not doing well. Updated, so it might not have updated properly. That's definitely possible. Let me, let me make sure. Go on YouTube. I did it on a restream, but it may not have updated properly on YouTube. Nope, it didn't update it on YouTube, so. Alrighty. 
that should update that, <laughs> hopefully. This one, this game isn't a game I would tell people to go out and play, just for randomness. Like, it's... Yeah, it's, it's not bad, it's just not great either. Turbo controllers are nice just because you can do this. And... Basically, as you're, as you're playing, you'll, the enemies will drop those icons. If you grab 20 T's, you'll get an extra life. If you grab a skull, it'll take away 10 T's. That's what so the bottom uh, bottom counter is the top counter is your time. That's essentially your score. This is one of the weirdest games because you actually want a low score. You don't want a high score. High scores look like going for golf scores. So after every stage, they'll show a little show a little. Like, like a, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> a tally. The times. If you want to, you can get hit by the. Oh, damn it, that was freaking game over again. But then you get. You turn back into your. As horrible as it sounds, you turn from black to white. It's a weird mechanic because it's the only time in this game where you can do something like that. down the turbo <laughs> I feel like that's the only way I'm going to get past this stage. It is very much like a Mario game, just not nearly as good. It's way too easy to fall off, you have to make sure you're all the way at the top. It's kind of annoying, too, that the icons don't appear until after they're already dead. Like, you have to wait that second for the end, that cloud to disappear before you can see what's dropping. By then, it's way too easy to accidentally to grab a skull if it was a skull, because you're probably still moving. Some of the music isn't bad in this game. Kind of simplistic, but kind of cheery. Fuck. Alright, good. Interesting thing is, if you die, your your time actually keeps going. things from the... I don't know what you're talking about. Things from the first three Zelda games? That's another weird thing, too, is when you kill a boss, the game just kind of freezes on you and you move on. It's, it's just so weird. <laughs> Oh, 
not supposed to show up. Oh, I know what's going on. Hold on. I know what's going on. Crap. That's on my bad. <laughs> it's not showing the chat. Whoopsie. All right, now the chat should be working. The same program, I use Streamlabs OBS to record stuff for my reviews a lot of time, and that's the setting I had set. So on that, I don't have the chat because there's no point. They can kind of jump off and miss the raft. Unfortunately, this is the only stage that's really out of the norm. And luckily, it's not that difficult of a shooter because I am awful at shooter games. I'm usually so bad that I don't even bother trying to play them. I do like having the chat on there. I know I don't really see a lot of people using it, but that way I feel like people are watching it later on. They'll know what, like who I'm talking to and what's being said. I just think it makes sense. I promise the rare, rare occurrences where people are saying th like inappropriate things. Oh crap, I don't think I can get over this. Oh crap. Let's jump in the river. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna start over. There's infinite continues, so. actually finish this game tonight. It's not a very long game, which is why I chose it. But I figured 40 minutes isn't enough to just do a stream. I wanted to do something a little bit more fleshed out. I figured it was going to take me a lot longer to finish Gravel Crash Dummies, but it really didn't take me long. Could have played it again, I guess, but... <laughs> it works! But yeah, I, th I figure I'm gonna take probably take a little break from Zelda until this weekend. This upcoming weekend, I should say. Then I'll, I might get back into it. So I know people want me to play Last of Us. I guess I gotta get the second game too. But I figure I'll do the first one as well. But I figure I maybe mean, I'll do Link's Awakening first. I didn't think it was gonna kill me. I could um, do a whole stream just in the first or the final dungeon. Wow, Resident Evil One—that was that was a while ago now. I think we were getting all ready to do Resident Evil Five too, but after about an hour, YouTube kind of took down the video because it was the AI that was kind of moderating everything. I think they considered it too violent or something, or narrowly mentioned a virus. And apparently YouTube didn't like that very much. That wasn't the big deal for us though, because we started playing it again anyway. But then with all the, the rides and stuff in the US, me and my pal Jared are like, you know what, when you put the two th like, together, that's pretty much what Resident Evil 5 is, so it's it wasn't really a good time to do that game. Damn it! I am not doing well today. Holy crap. Usually I can get past this stage without a single issue. That is true, I could do Undertale. I feel like that could take me well. I've played that game enough times, I could probably get through it very quickly. Depending on which kind of run I want to go through. I'll do a whole stream of just Sans battles. Because I could do it. I have a save file for Sans. 
Actually, now that I think that could pose a problem. I don't know how that game's save file works. Because there is only really one save file, and I finished it both pacifist and land normal. for me to get the remake right away. I do want to get it, because I'm just a Resident Evil fan. But, I'm going to wait for the drop in price. Still a lot of Resident Evil games I still need to buy. song I heard that I'm like I was like I sent it to my one friend who's big in the game music I'm like dude you gotta listen to this it was a uh, bone trussle when you're fighting uh crap when you're fighting what's his face I like a checkpoint I gotta make sure I don't die because I don't want to lose all my lives and have to start this whole damn stage over again Extra life. Come on. There we go. Yikes. Really, out of the remake, they took a lot of stuff out. You'd, you'd think they would put more stuff in. I mean, look at the Resident Evil 2 remake. That game was... Oh, that was beautiful. I love that game. I kind of wanted to play it again. <laughs> and I'm really looking forward to the Resident Evil 4 remake. I don't know if they're going to do the same thing that they did, or if they're just going to do like a remaster, but... I'm really looking forward to that. Usually I go on the left side because it's a lot easier, but crap. All the way back here, seriously? I didn't get the Resident Evil 2 remake either until my friend showed me, or was it? I think it was, no, it was a demo I played. Played a little bit of the demo, I'm like, oh, I, I need to buy this. I, I need to get this right now. The Resident Evil 2 remake, like, Resident Evil 2 is still probably my favorite one. remake was just... It was amazing. Crap! Alright, we're gonna give it one more shot. If I can't do it, I can't do it. <laughs> Second freaking stage. There's only six levels in the game. 
So, like, I can usually get to the fifth or sixth before really struggling. Today is apparently just opposite day. Yeah, they are remaking four from what, I'm, from what I hear. I'm actually kind of excited for that, though. But it depends on how they're doing four. That's the only thing that I haven't heard. Like, is it an HD remaster, or is it just going to be like something like they did with two and three? Yes, it does. Oh my god, yes. I feel like that's like the the hidden gem of the series. Like nobody ever really talks about Code Veronica. And I like the outbreak. I like I didn't get very far in it. But that is on my to-do list for the Resident Evil playthroughs. We were trying to do all the numbered games first though. Which why we went from four, right from two to three to four to, to five. I did do Code Veronica though. I did Survivor. Survivor was an interesting game. I kind of want to play it again. Outbreak is on the list of games to do. That uh, what's it called? Uh, let's see all the new ones. Oh god, I can't remember the name of it now. Revelations, there's the one. What is the other game that Toby Fox did? I can't remember the name of it now, but I haven't played that yet. It was Octopath Traveler, I think. I think that's what it's called. Really? That... Huh. Not that any of my friends would want to play it. I actually had my friend's copy of it because he couldn't stand it. I think. I think he gave it to me. I gotta get file two. Because I only have the first one. I never... Shit. I never played the second one yet. Delta Rune, there you go. I'm, I'm thinking of the other game. Either way, I haven't played any of them, so... I hear I see a lot of like metal covers of the songs in that game too, but so I just get them all confused. I don't know about you guys, but I'm really starting to get sick of this music. <laughs> I did not know. Then again, I've only ever played it solo anyway. Oh, come on. This actually has my copy of Undertale. I should probably get that back at some point. Because I, I actually special ordered it off of... I don't remember what website I got it off of. Basically, I have a hard copy of the PS4 game. Almost got the special edition that had like all the extra stuff, but I didn't. Oh, 
crap! Damn it! Damn it! When I get to that part, I'm actually going to shut up and actually concentrate. That might be part of the problem. Yeah, I could definitely see that Outbreak was more of a multiplayer game. It's just, I don't know, I didn't have any friends to play it. At the time, my internet, when I had my PS2, and I was playing PS2 more religiously, as in, you know, prior to PS3 era, my internet connection was like 28.8. So... Yeah, that, not really a connection speed you would want to play online games at. So I remember the first time my friend was playing SOCOM online. Like it blew my, it blew my mind. I'm like, wait, you're, you're actually playing a console game online? Yes, it, it definitely is getting old. Alright, so I'm trying to finish the stage as quickly as possible. But I think that's part of the problem is I'm rushing it. life. If I can't do this, I'm just going to call it quits. It's been over an hour. I'm happy now. <laughs> well, I got an extra life, so I guess I have two attempts. I'm going to have to look into that. See if I can get that going. I'm pretty sure I had outbreak over there. Like, is it still official servers, or is it just doing, like, client-based? Connections. I'm assuming it's probably client-based if it's still available. That makes sense, then, why you can still play it. No, I'm not going to move on to a different game anymore tonight. <laughs> as tempting as it may be. Oh, come on. No! Oh, damn it! Why in the name of God can I not get past this stage? easiest stage in the game. That's a sad thing. Because <laughs> after this is the forest, then I think... I think after that is the haunted house. And then the sky level, and then the caverns. And then the game is over. You have to see if there's any kind of cheat to skip the stage. Save the state and then see. <laughs> just do save state to save scum through this damn zone. But I'm not gonna do that. That's not. That's not the way I intend to play these games. Could I? Absolutely. But damn it! <sighs> All right, one more attempt. One more, and that's it. If I don't do it here, we're done. about doing the Metal Gear Solid games at some point, but that's going to be like a time sink. <laughs> Especially the 4, because 4, some of those scenes are like watching a freaking movie. Take 
forever. <laughs> I haven't played any of them after 4 either. I meant to get a... What's it called? Survive. Just because I want... I hear it's awful. Yeah, you know, I'm... Sucker for punishment, I guess. That's the problem. I, I just... I don't know why I'm struggling so much. This really is not a hard freaking stage. Maybe it's because I haven't played the game in years, but... assholes that are just like throwing shit at Tom Sawyer. It'd be nice if you can throw the rocks in other directions. we go. Boss time. Yeah, that's very true. Nah, it's alright. I can construct. All I have to do is don't look at the chat. That's all. That's such a weird boss, too. All you gotta do is prevent yourself from getting pushed off the screen. But one of the weirdest things is I don't ever know what, how to tell how to actually hit the mouth or not. Big ass gator too. There we go. We got this shit. And of course, that time I didn't die at all. It's a good thing that um, it didn't count all my attempts the last time. What is that score would be in the thousands? this game, just keep throwing rocks. Just don't stop mashing B. Grab the hold of that pelican. 
later stage, you can actually grab a hold of a balloon. And it skips a good chunk of the stage. I wonder if that pelican does the same thing. I want to say it does. But that's a checkpoint right there anyway, so... This level is a bunch of monkeys that basically jump on top of each other and turn themselves into a gorilla, and I'm not kidding at that. The hell? I never saw that before. Yeah, I, I really don't care about the skulls, to be honest. I mean, with Infinite Continues, like... The lives aren't that big of a deal to me. Or if I can get another extra life. I don't even know how I did that last time. jumping this game to it. it. It's hard to describe, but when you're like throwing rocks and everything and you're jumping forward, it's very easy to basically go flying forward. Like, I, don't, I don't know how to explain it. And it only happens with the rocks. Shit. It wasn't health, it was a one-up. Which is awesome. I don't think I've ever seen that before. I wish there was a health bar in this game. Make it a lot easier. I mean, it's not really a hard game. It's just... Weird. <laughs> Trying to duck, not move sideways. And this might sound really weird, but these trees to me look like almost like fish sticks or mozzarella sticks or something. Something with batter. I don't know why I'm doing so bad at this game. I never do this bad. <laughs> Like, this is one of those games as a kid, I used to be able to complete it fairly easily. Good lord. Pizza sticks. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, the boss is right after those trees. starting to get tired of mashing B all the time. I feel like I should just die. Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna die now. Start the stage over with full lives. I lost all my lives within 30 seconds of game time. If I remember right too, like if you're playing with another player, it's kind of like Mario 1, where you just keep going until you die, and then player 2 goes. And of course, he's playing as Huck Finn. Jesus. <laughs> Smoking some shrooms. I wonder what... I thought I had some messed up dreams, but apparently Tom Sawyer has me beat. don't kill you. At least there's that. But even 
the sound effects kind of glitch out every once in a while, too. You can kind of hear it sometimes. smoke anything, so... <laughs> Just not my thing. Although, yeah, sometimes I feel like I should play some of these games. <laughs> Especially some of the really bad games I play. Developers must have been smoking a little something, something. I just realized as he's ducking, like there's a little pixel of his hat that's kind of detached from the rest of the game. His hat. Nope! I'll try grabbing. I'm pretty sure that's actually a helpful power-up. And I get killed by water. Because of course I did. playing this game. <laughs> Be careful, because there's that thing that'll just ambush you. I, I don't know how to make that happen. things I do like about this whole streaming thing is I get to play some of the more obscure games that like nobody ever really talks about like this like nobody streams Tom Sawyer on NES can't really blame them after playing this again after all these years Stage three. I'm gonna write the stages in so bad. 
But again, I've said that pretty much in all these other stages. What you want to do is just run underneath them. Just don't even waste your time. They make some really weird ass noises, though, I will say that. fireworks out there. Castlevania, this is not. Just thought that slime looked really silly. And no, Dracula isn't the final boss. Well, the boss of the stage. I always wanted to know why the witch had an onk. Damn, I always found that kind of weird. <laughs> I'm glad I can... <laughs> I can play games that like nobody's ever thought of playing before or something. <laughs> Sweet till you get to the, see the sky level next. That one's even weirder. At least I think it is. I'm gonna have to keep digging through my, my library to see what other oddities I can find. Monster Party, but that's gonna be a Halloween game. It's a Drakey from Dragon Quest. <laughs> you know what's funny? It's funny you bring that up. That's the game that nobody ever talks about, and I want to get it, but it keeps going up in price. I need to just buy the damn thing before it goes up even further. Last time I saw it, it was $130. Before that, it was 70 I'm kicking myself right now for not getting that game. And the funny little story about that, when I was in, um, not basic training, but job training in the Army, we were allowed to have that kind of stuff, and that game just came out, and one of my, my roommates bought the game. I played it for maybe 10 seconds and thought it looked really interesting. I'm really kicking myself for not buying that game then. But I that that's probably going to be the last Resident Evil game we do. Resident Evil Gaiden is a, a Game Boy... I think it's Game Boy Color. Yeah. It's a Game Boy Color Resident Evil game. It's, it's strange. It's got more like an RPG battle feel to it. But yes, I do want to do Resident Evil Gaiden. I really do. <laughs> you are the first person that's even acknowledged that game. Because most people do not know of its existence. I hear it's actually really, really bad. I haven't played enough of it, so... I don't mind emulating games if they are just absurdly expensive, but like lately, ever since I got my Retron, I just love playing the actual game. Especially if I'm streaming, I just want it to feel, for lack of better words, real.
Jumped out a little bit too late. That's why I like my Retron 5. Shit. Just because I can play these games and it's just HDMI. There are very few games I've played so far that my Retron will not read. Oddly enough, Tetris is one of them. To me, this looks fine. I have a 50-inch TV. Game of Games, those look a little stretched out, so I'm curious to see how Link's Awakening is going to look. I might have to use a Super Game Boy, but when I tried it out, it looked fine. Oops. But yeah, I, I, like, when I first got the internet, my old 288, that's why I really got an emulation, because I didn't have a way to play old games. I, I didn't have a lot of money growing up. So, like, whenever I got a new game, I was all excited. I really wish I knew where all my old games were. But, when I got my Retrons, when I kind of started collecting them again. But, where was I going with this? I don't even remember. But yeah, I used to be big in emulation, because that was the only way I was able to play a lot of the games. So yeah, it was the same way. I, I didn't have much money, so that's just how I was going to play ROMs. So, I, like, every day I would I would go on emulation websites, download, like, five games. I had a do list on my door that my brothers would write what games they wanted me to download. Because we couldn't be on the internet for long. Because, again, I had a 28K modem, so it speeds were crap. But since it was dial-up, you know, and my dad always was on call for work, so my online time was extremely limited. So within like a half an hour, I had to download games, and if it was like a Super Nintendo game or something, it was going to take a while to download. But then, as I said, I got the wrench on, and... I gotta try playing PS2 games online again. The first time I did was on an older computer, and it it just wouldn't run right. I tried running Chaos Legion. That could be a fun game to stream. It's a little grindy though, but I feel like it'd be kind of fun. But like it just wasn't running it well. Then again, the PC wasn't the best build. I think my computer nowadays will probably be fine. First game I played on my PC. The very first game I, first computer game I ever played was Commander Keen 4. Second I think was Commander Keen 1, and third was Wolfenstein 3D. As a 10 year old kid, that game scared the shit out of me. I liked it, but I could not play it for very long. Because the very and it's going back a while, but my first computer was an old Tandy. Shit. And let's see. Yeah, I had a Tandy that my dad's friend gave us because he just got a new computer. It had like Windows 95 on it. This Tandy had like DOS shell and Windows 3.1. Like I thought it was awesome, but when we first got it, it was like after my dad's friend was done setting it up, it was like. 9, 9.30 at night. It was getting close to bedtime. My mom's like, you know what? We're, you guys can stay up late and play games, so... Good 10.30 at night. Pitch black outside. I'm playing Wolfenstein 3D as a, like a 10-year-old kid. First time I hear, like, Guten Tag right behind me, or... Not Guten Tag, but, uh... Something that they shouted in German, like, right... Like, behind my character, I, like, screamed... <laughs> And then as my face got all bloody as you're taking damage, and, like I thought it was so gruesome but cool at the same time. Yeah, I I want to get a Mac at some point just to familiarize with myself on it, but I'm just not paying that kind of money. 
Let's, I'm just looking at the chat real quick. My hardware, I just built a new computer a couple weeks ago, and honestly, I barely even test, really tested it out. Like, when I was playing Doom, what I call Doom 4, but Doom 2016, that was really the... Shit, I forgot those things did that. Um... But that's really the first time I tested it out. Like, I haven't... I still haven't really tested it properly. But right now I have a... It's a Risen 7. I think it, the CPU is running at like 4.6 gigahertz or something like that. Shit! My video card is still the same though. I, I didn't upgrade that at all because it's... It's about five years old, but it does the job. It's a R9 390. Shit. Yeah, Minecraft isn't exactly the most intensive game, so... <laughs> My problem with Mac is they're just overpriced for what they give you. I would love to stream like something like that, but I would have to turn the music off. That's the problem. Otherwise, I couldn't imagine all the copyright claims I'd get on the freaking videos. definitely understand why your head's hurting because of this music. It's just... This music is not very good. I gotta take my time there. I'll give it a couple more attempts. This is the second last stage, so like, I'm really trying hard to finish this game. <laughs> nightmares, they might be messed up nightmares. Like I'm killing friggin' water drops and I forgot, in this stage you can pretty much just dude. After the first part, you can just kinda keep running. It's really those birds that come back at you that cause the issues. running. Come on! So close to the end there. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm probably gonna, gonna keep going for a couple more minutes. I've been at, I had to go in early for work because I had a lot of stuff to get done, so I'm starting to get a little sleepy myself. But oh, come on! I'm determined to finish this stupid game. I'm just messing up more and more, like, but I don't have much more of the game to go. It's not a long game. <laughs> Except when you suck at it like I am right now, apparently. Can't die. Apparently I can't even die when I want to. after I finished Crash Dummies. Yeah, it would be fun. I'm going to have to keep Outbreak in the back of my mind. See you later! this stage this time, I'm, I'm just gonna stop here. As much as I would love to keep going. I'm starting to get more and more frustrated. Now crystals. This is one of the easiest boss battles in history. I say that and then I freaking die. I don't think I've ever died at that freaking boss. What is wrong with me? <laughs> the screen it just blows up anyway so stage though. Yeah, I think I, 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 I
just gonna die just so I can stop oh, where I am anyway. Just so I can start over with full lives, but. We got this. Is this is a weird final stage though, like a cave, really? Check in the top area there. <laughs> it's gonna die again and start over. Thank God for infinite continues. That's all I'm gonna say. Wow, that's bullshit. I'm starting to remember why I don't really play this game very often. As a kid I used to. Mostly because it was just so different. And I was a kid, so I mean... Was I, gonna do? I think even as a kid I paid like five bucks for it at like a flea market. And I couldn't jump. I literally couldn't jump there. Give it a few more attempts. If I can't do it, I can't do it. Maybe this will be a, another idea for a stream later on, but actually starting to bother me. <laughs> sucks because these freaking fish come out what seems like nowhere. This part reminds me of Panic Restaurant. That's a game I wish I could get a copy of. Shit. I'm gonna do one more attempt. If I can't do it, I can't do it. I think Panic Restaurant may have been one of the last games I actually did a review for and used emulation. that I used to rent a lot as a kid are not cheap games. Like, one of the most expensive NES games, um, Flintstones, Surprise of Dinosaur Peak. I freaking love that game. That, if I ever review it, is probably going to be in a ROM. <laughs> so that game, on average, I think is like 7800 bucks.
mean, if I can get to the final boss, like, it's just as easy as almost every other boss in this game. That's right, it goes to this random ice level for some stupid reason. SNES and Genesis library, though. I feel like I don't really know a lot of games for those systems, other than, like, the SNES RPGs. Like, I would love to play a lot of those for stream. Oh my god, I'm still back at the beginning. I'm just gonna start over then. I've been playing this more than freaking <laughs> Incredible Crash Dummies. That game I breezed through, I wasn't expecting to. This game I expected to breeze through. I most definitely am not. checkpoint, it doesn't really matter. Damn it! Why does it have to stick me all the way to the frickin' beginning of the damn stage. Alright, last attempt. If I can't do it, I can't do it. But it's getting late here. Well, not really, but I do have to work tomorrow morning, so <laughs> I can't be up all night trying this as much as I kind of want to.
same fucking sneak. All right, one more attempt. That's, this seriously is the last attempt, though. <laughs> I should have freaking quit. How the hell is he throwing so many freaking rocks? And so quickly, too. Because I think that's what these are supposed to be. Time that I can rush through that area now. This time I can't. All right, I I'm done. I I, <laughs> I I really can't keep going. <laughs> so thanks for watching, guys. Such a generic game over. My total score is 996. I haven't even finished the last stage. Oh god. And thanks, dumb shooter one. Appreciate it. Um, sadly I'm getting off now though. <laughs> two hours later so thanks guys for watching I really appreciate it I may or may not do something tomorrow night I don't know yet we'll see if anything it'll be this weekend because I got work late the rest of the week so um I'll figure something out with the play I said we'll probably do Link's Awakening this weekend but until then if I decide to do something else I'll figure it out so until next time guys thanks again for watching happy fragging